This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Lollipop Echo. This design is stitched by first coming up with a straight line, then come up with a circle and stitch inside of that circle with a spiral. This is our Lollipop design that we've had for uh, more, more than a year now. Um, there's another design called um, Lollipop Chain. If you like this design, you're really going to like that one. This one, however, is first stitch the lollipop, then travel stitch, and echo around it. You can see immediately that this is a variation of cyber echo. So instead of kind of estimating the space for the lollipop, the kind of imaginary lollipop inside, you're, instead you're going to stitch it and continue to stitch around it and build it up. And when you get bored stitching around one lollipop, just simply branch off in another direction and stitch a new one. Straight line, circle, spiral, and travel stitch your way back out of the spiral and along that straight line to get all the way back to your starting line. Then travel stitch and echo your lollipop shape. And you can echo as many times as you like. I generally keep my echoes between really two and four echoes, but it really changes the design to kind of play, the, play with that and see how many work for you. You know, if you do many echoes, if you do say six or seven echoes around a particular shape, most of your design is going to be showing up as echoes and not really the shape itself. And that's going to change your design. Your design would end up looking very different from mine. And that's the cool thing about these designs is that they kind of become our signatures. And they kind of have a different effect for every person. So it's really fun to just experiment with it and see what you like the best. For some of these, you can see I expanded them and had three or four echoes around each lollipop and that really made them stand out and show off on the surface that really added to that circular appearance that you see on this block. You are going to have weird areas just as you are going to have weird areas with any design and you can see all I'm doing is just squishing in a slightly smaller lollipop shape, filling it in and then trying to fit the echo in as consistently as possible. You might have to travel stitch along the edges uh, of other echoes, of the outer echoes of that shape, in order to get in and fill as necessary. So that way the entire space is nice and filled and not have any weird open areas. Now, bearing all that in mind, here's what it looks like whenever you finish Lollipop Echo. For over 350 videos on free motion quilting, plus many tools and supplies to make this easier on your home sewing machine, check out the Free Motion Quilting Project at freemotionproject.com.